Hello friends, Michael23B here, and today what I have for you is my new Connect 4 design with a super fast, fully automatic reset. That's right, this new design is much smaller and can reset itself over four times faster than my original design. So how does it work? Well, just as you'd expect, two players can take turns dropping tiles, and each time a button is hit, the indicator on the left also swaps colors to show whose turn it is. When one player gets four tiles in a row, you can go ahead and hit the reset button, and in just a matter of mere seconds, the game completely resets itself without you having to manually replace any of the falling blocks. Just as with my original, this design also has spam-proof buttons, meaning if I were to spam a bunch of the buttons very quickly, only the first button I pressed will register as an input. And in addition to that, the reset button is also spam-proof as well. And in a major contrast to my original design, this one sends entire rows of blocks back up at a time, it uses float alignment and slime blocks to send the blocks straight up, and it uses an incredible new one-wide tileable concrete sorter design. So as you might know from my previous videos, I was trying to make my own tileable sorter, but lo and behold, my friend Redstone Yay created this very compact design over on the Cube Crowd server. So thank you very much to them, and I highly recommend you check out the Cube Crowd server if you are interested. So yeah, this design was actually made and customized specifically for this game to fit inside the shortest length it possibly could. I may or may not do another video all about tileable sorter designs like this, so you can let me know if you want to see that, but you can also learn all about how this sorting technology works in my original falling block sorter video. Anyway, as you can see, it very quickly and very satisfyingly sorts the different colors back into the appropriate stacks, and if, for example, you had a full 7x6 game board of pieces, this machine can completely reset everything in just 13 seconds, whereas my original design would take over a full minute to do the same thing. Now, let's get more into the details. This machine takes up an area of 12 blocks wide by 14 blocks long by 33 blocks tall, making its total enclosing volume less than half the size of my original design. This design was made in Java Edition and will only work in Java Edition. There will be a world download in the description if you want to check it out. And now let's hop right into the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to start off with an 11 by 3 starting platform. Assuming you're building this on the surface, you're going to dig an 11 by 11 by 10 block deep hole. And let's go ahead and look at the resources you need. So you can pause it here and look. So you're going to need at least five stacks of building blocks. You need about two stacks of redstone dust. You need 100 observers. You need a stack of pistons, 47 sticky pistons, 46 slime blocks, 14 furnaces or any other immovable block. You need 55 birch planks or whatever you want to use for the floor. You need 49 smooth stone or whatever else you want to use for the backboard. You need 49 blue concrete powder and 42 red concrete powder. And these can be any color you want. It could even be sand and gravel or whatever. You need two pieces of sand, 35 string, eight tripwire hooks, 33 redstone torches, 54 repeaters, 28 comparators, 17 target blocks, 14 pieces of scaffolding, 14 iron trap doors or even wooden trap doors, 7 droppers, 8 stone buttons, 7 note blocks, 2 barrels, 2 pieces of glass, a blue concrete and a red concrete, and again these can be whatever color, a hopper, a slab, and 14 sea lanterns. These can be whatever block you want, I just like to use them for the lighting. And in addition to this, I have 49 blocks of quartz, 55 quartz slabs, and two quartz stairs. These can be whatever blocks you want. This is just what you want the front of your game to look like. So these are the blocks I'm using. It can be whatever you want. So like I said, we're starting off with an 11 by three platform, and then we're going to begin by extending it just by two blocks like this. So just place a bunch of blocks, and then we're going to go down to the bottom of the hole and then come away four blocks from the wall just like this, and punch out these seven blocks. And then place a sticky piston and place seven slime blocks. And then come back over here and start placing some redstone dust. Go up the wall like this. And place some more redstone dust. And place a repeater on the second setting. Place a sticky piston like this and place another seven slime blocks. 
Then come back over here and place a row of seven regular pistons. And then we're going to place a bunch of note blocks right on top of it. And then place a row of solid building blocks on top of that. Then place some redstone dust and place some blocks like this. Then we're going to build our delay circuit. So just build a five by two platform like that. Place a block there and there and there. And then we're going to start placing some comparators like this. Place some redstone dust and place a target block right here with a torch on the side of it. Place a torch there and another block and another torch. Place some repeaters, each of them on the third setting and then place some more redstone dust. Then we're going to place some more redstone dust and put some repeaters, each of them on the second setting. Build it up like this and place more redstone dust and another repeater on the second setting. Then we're going to place a sticky piston and two pieces of sand. Place a piston pointing down and place some redstone dust on top of that. Place some building blocks. We're going to go out seven blocks like this so it should line up with the slime blocks. And then place some more redstone dust like that. Then we're going to place two additional rows of solid building blocks, just like this. And then we're going to place some redstone dust on top of this one. Then grab your sticky pistons and place a row just like this. And now we're going to come back over here and place an additional row of seven building blocks and place some redstone dust on top of that. This will be for our button panel. Now coming back down here, place a block and a redstone dust and a sticky piston with a block on top of it. Then place some blocks like this. Place some redstone dust and place a slab, a top slab right here, and place a building block and some redstone repeaters. Set that one to the fourth setting and leave the other one on the normal setting. Build a platform like this, paying attention to where that glass block is placed. Place some redstone dust and some comparators more redstone dust, and place a block on the side like this, a redstone torch, and another block, which should power the pistons. Place another redstone dust, a repeater, a comparator, and a block in front of that. Now we're going to place some blocks under here, and we're also going to place some sea lanterns on the sticky pistons. Again, these don't have to be sea lanterns, they can be whatever you want, but I like to use them for lighting. So now we're going to go back out here, place some normal pistons like this, then we're going to come down three blocks from the surface and place a row of seven blocks, just like this. Go up a block and place two other blocks and go up another block. And then this is where we're going to place our tripwire hook, place some string, and then place another tripwire hook on the other end. Come over here, place a redstone dust and a repeater on the second setting. Place a block, a redstone dust, and a sticky piston pointing up. And then we're going to place our slime just like this, so it lines up with the other pistons. And this is where our concrete powder elevator is going to be. So it's important to note that you don't want to place any blocks here or else that will stick to the slime blocks. So if you're going to encase this in a wall, you want to come one extra block out and this is where you could place your wall. Now, coming back to the front, we're gonna start placing our game board. I'm using quartz blocks here, but you can use whatever block you want to. I'm gonna place a stone or black stone button there and place some more stone buttons like this. Then we're going to place seven blocks going up. And then once you're here, place two extra blocks and start placing some slabs, or again, whatever block you want to. You just need to be able to place some redstone dust on top of it. So I'm going to extend this platform all the way out. And once that's finished, you can come back down here and place some blocks up like this and connect it up to there and then place some extra blocks going out like this. And then we're going to fill in the side here, place some blocks like this, a stair if you want to, some more blocks and a stair, and then we're going to start placing the backboard. So I'm using smooth stone here. You can use whatever block you want to. So we're just going to go up six blocks like this. And then also place an additional seven throw like this and place a block here. And then also you want to break this block and make sure to put a block in there like that. Now come to the back and build up like this. Place a target block and place some redstone dust. Then place a repeater and put that on the second setting. And then place an additional block and a dust. Place a block here and a comparator on subtract mode. Place a block out in front of it. 
and then build up like this. Make sure to put a glass block right there and then build up like this and place a target block. Place some redstone dust going all the way up and then place another comparator right here. And now you want to place an observer facing that redstone dust, place two sticky pistons, and then we'll come back to this later. Now up here, you want to place another redstone dust, a comparator on subtract mode, and place a hopper right here, which you want to fill with four wooden shovels, and that should output a signal strength of 12. So place a block, a redstone dust, then we're going to come over here, go out three blocks, and then build a platform like this, place a tripwire hook, and then place a dust and a repeater on the second setting, place a block and another dust and a sticky piston facing up, then place eight slime blocks, so it should line up with the slime blocks below it. Now come back down here, place a row of seven string, and then come out an extra block, and this is where you're going to place your tripwire hook. Then come back over here, and you're going to build a platform just like this. Place a redstone dust and a comparator, and this is where we're going to build our red coder. So just come out like this, place a row of seven redstone dust, and place some target blocks just like this. Put some redstone torches on the side of them, and place another row of blocks directly on top of that. Place another row of redstone dust just like this. Then you're going to place a redstone comparator on subtract mode and place six additional redstone repeaters just like this. Then we're going to place some solid building blocks on top of the redstone torches. Place another row of redstone torches just like this. And now we're going to place seven furnaces or whatever immovable block you want. Place a row of seven pistons as well, just like this. And then come back over here, place a redstone comparator, and place a barrel, which you want to put one item into, such as a stick. Then build up like this, place a comparator on top of the hopper, making sure to use shift click, and then place some redstone dust, just like this. And that completes one of the red coders, now let's build the second red coder. So place some blocks like this, place a comparator and some redstone dust, just like this, place another comparator and place a block, place a line of seven redstone dust, and place some more target blocks, place some redstone torches on the sides of those, then put some building blocks on top of that. Place some more redstone torches, and then go back up to the top and place a line of repeaters, and on the first one you're going to place a comparator on subtract mode, and then place some more building blocks on top of these redstone dust, and place another line of redstone dust like this. Place a comparator going into that comparator, and a barrel, and put a single stick or other item into it. Now we're going to place our row of seven pistons, and also make sure to put your seven furnaces in the back, or whatever other immovable block that you're using. Place some extra blocks just like this, and now we're going to come back over here, place an observer facing that redstone dust, place a block and a sticky piston pointing down. You're going to place a block in front of this comparator or behind it. Uh, you're going to place another sticky piston and a block in the up position like that. And that is our alternator. Now we're going to place a line of seven sea lanterns. Again, this can be whatever block you want, um, but I just like to use lighting and this is going to seal the room in. Now we're going to place our red concrete powder on this side and our blue concrete powder on this side, and then we're going to stack it up by six blocks. So you're just gonna break that and then go up one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're just going to fill this in. And I've actually included enough concrete powder in this game design to accommodate two completely full games. We're going to finish filling it in here, and once that's done, place another row of solid building blocks, just like this. And now we need to continue our concrete powder elevator. So you're going to come up six blocks from here and then place an extra block, break those six blocks, and then place a tripwire hook on this, come out seven string, just like this, and then place another tripwire hook on the other end, come back to the other side and build a platform just like this. You're going to place a redstone dust on top and a repeater on the second setting. Place another dust and a sticky piston pointing up with another eight slime blocks. So again, this should line up with the slime blocks directly below it. Now come back over here, go up one, two, three, four, five, and place a block on top of there. 
So break those five blocks and then place a redstone torch on the side, a tripwire hook and go out seven string, just like this. Place some more blocks and place a tripwire hook on this end. Then place a solid block on top of the redstone torch, a sticky piston pointing in this direction, and another eight slime blocks just like this. Now, super important, go up two blocks and place a row of seven blocks just like this. This is what's going to stop your concrete powder from flying away. And now that that's all done, we have to build our sorter. So go out three blocks like this and place a block there. And we have to copy this same thing for each individual row. So just place a platform like this and place some repeaters. And each one of these repeaters, you want to set it to the third setting. So that's three, that's three. And just do that for each individual repeater. Then place some blocks and place some observers facing this direction. So they're going into the repeaters and then place some droppers. It doesn't matter what direction they're pointing. Just place seven droppers like that. Place some pistons on top of them. Then place some pistons here. So place a row of seven pistons just like this. Then we're going to place another row of seven pistons facing this direction and place another row of sticky pistons just like this. Place some solid blocks behind them and place a row of observers pointing this direction. Now what you want to do is place string in front of each of those observers and then go to the back, place some trap doors just like this. Place some scaffolding on top just like this. and place some solid blocks on top of those, just like this. Now, place some observers, just like I'm doing, and do that for every row. Next, come into here and place an observer facing that observer, so it should be pointing up, and do that for every row. And now that half of the sorter is done. So let's continue with the other half. So you're going to come out three blocks like this and then build up like this. Place two observers pointing that block. And then we're going to break that block and place a repeater, put it on the fourth setting. And we're just going to copy that for each other row. So each of these repeaters should be on the fourth setting. Then place another line of building blocks. Place observers just the same. Then place some observers like this. You can go ahead and break these blocks, place some observers pointing those repeaters. Then place some comparators on top like this, place repeaters and put each of them on the second setting. So just do that. Then you're gonna place another line of building blocks Place some observers right here, pointing these string. Place some sticky pistons and put some observers on those sticky pistons like this. Then you're going to go back down, place some pistons right here. Place observers pointing up like this. And place another line of sticky pistons like this. Then turn around and place some pistons like this and break that block. Then go up and place some building blocks just like this. And finally place some sticky pistons like this and place some trap doors on the top like this and you're going to place your blue concrete powder here or whatever color you have in this column right here. You're just gonna place the same thing. And that should be just about it. One of the last things you want to do is come down here, place a blue concrete and place a red concrete in the back. And now it should be the blue player's turn. So we can go ahead and test that. We get a blue concrete powder. Now we get red and yeah, it should work perfectly. So let's go ahead and test the reset button. 
everything falls and gets transported back up to the top. And it can be pretty loud, but there we go. Everything is now sorted. Awesome. So that just about wraps up this video. Again, I want to give big thanks to Redstone Yay on the Cube Crowd server for the tileable sorter design. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.